You ready? So, yeah, North Kingsley, I was asking what the status is. Where, so how where, it start, I'll tell you how it started, and I'll tell you where we're at. Okay. Uh, it started a, about a year and a half ago. Uh, I had an old friend that I actually started playing music with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's doing his, he was doing his own thing. I was doing my own. And I just, you know, I said, I want to start a brand. I want to start a new band. I'm, I'm trying to get System back to tour. You know, whatever I could do, I wanted to do. Because mm -hmm. I had this, like, new life in me. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get that shit out of you, bro, it's like... Pow, the compressor goes off and now you're like crazy all yeah you feel that yeah you yeah all like the frequencies are there, there you know what I, I mean? and it hasn't stopped it's this was six years five years ago mm. and i you know wow it hasn't stopped yeah so um i was like i need to be able to because i always write you know i know mm. darren's the main songwriter in our band but i really love to make music bro that was like i love to write i love riffs really? i i wrote sugar i wrote no i wrote toxicity like those songs right. of course darren helped me arrange those because he's a master at that and mm -hmm. Serge with the vocals mm -hmm. but and uh, everyone in my band I give credit yeah. to for every song it doesn't matter who wrote what mm -hmm. but like for the last few years I haven't had a, way, a place to like right. bring that out you know right. and I I play I write I have riffs and all of a sudden like there's nowhere to go so those riffs disappear and I keep making new ones and right. I, I didn't record it so they disappeared they're totally gone like there's probably hundreds of riffs that could have been gone. something that are gone yeah I don't remember what I did because um, mm -hmm. remember, I do everything spontaneously. Right. So I was like, I want to do something. So I called my bro. I was like, man, maybe we should jam. We haven't jammed. You did the, you know, we've been friends forever. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we jammed a little. It didn't work out. Our chemistry wasn't the same, mm -hmm. you know. But I met someone there who knew Logic, that, you know, Logic Pro. Right. And I was like, I, I need to learn a new program. Why don't you come give me some lessons? I'll pay you. So he came to my studio, me, me and my old friend stopped working. We said, let's be friends and not work or else we're going to like not like each other right. <laughs> because right. it's not working out. Right. Um, so as he was giving me lessons on, um, on logic, we wrote something together. I was like, so I have this idea, let's do this, that. And he just went and he just did it. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, man, I, I wish I could do that. But I'm like I said, I'm 45. I'm not learning things as fast as I used to. Right. Um, so that kind of like made us start writing stuff together. And I was like, he's my other half. He's the, mm -hmm. he's what I can't do. I'm what he What's needs. All about? That's a team, right? It's like a wide receiver, you know, yeah. uh, a, a quarterback blocker. You need everybody. Absolutely. Um, and he had this dude, Ray, that he was working with. Like he was the guy that was making all the beats and making all the sounds. And then Ray was just an amazing lyricist, which I didn't know at the time. Mm -hmm. So... It started off as like a chain smoke, like a heavy chain smokers. I was like, we can make music for ourselves and make beats for others. If, you know, right. I, I know a lot of musicians out there that mm -hmm. need music. Right. And I also am friends with like, a, you know, I've made a lot of friends in the last 25 years in the industry. Jonathan sure. Davis, Zach De La Roca. I was like, maybe I can get all my homies to come in and do vocals. It'll be like a DJ Khaled of metal. <laughs> That'd be insane. It'd be cool. That was the original idea. But then this dude, Ray, comes through, which was his partner. Uh, Sorrow's partner, mm -hmm. um, and the dude was, he's like 30, it was 29 at the time, it was, bro, he started flowing, I was like, are you kidding me, like, this is your, and I started like appreciating the guy's head and his mm -hmm. brain and his thought process, and, yeah. you know, he's he's 30 now, and he's very ambiguous when it comes to like, if he's from the left, he's into the left or the right of this, pol you know, because mm -hmm. I've always been political and social, right. I haven't always been like, yeah, oh, you have. I haven't been very vocal about it because I have a singer that is, right. so, you know, Serge. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we all should be like yelling. Right. But I, you know, but nowadays it's like I have no way of expressing it. So this kid was like saying everything I wanted to say and in a great way. So it's like, I started thinking about, let's not invite all these vocalists. Let's just, just make it. I think we have a band. Fire. So that's how it started. And Fire. it didn't have a name. There was like 10, 15 names we went through and. I remember the street I grew up on, where where I came from Armenia too, mm -hmm. which we're going back to how we started this conversation in North, North Kingsley. Kingsley and I said I could swear by that shit because that's the first address I ever had to learn, and you know, I can get emotional talking about the shit that I've been through on that street. You know, mm -hmm. we, this could be fifteen podcasts. We can we can go, <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you shit that went down. A series with yeah. Shava. It, it fully could be, bro. Yeah, but I'm gonna pull back now because no. I've been talking a lot. So, I feel you. No, but I, yeah. So that's how it started, and now we're like 12 songs in. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And I'm pu I'm putting a team together, and my manager from System is managing it. He amazing. You know, he usually doesn't like back too many side projects because he's all about what you know the right. main. Right. But he 
got my back, bro. He's fucking with it. Hell yeah. And I'm just like, I'm I'm honored to have a new team and be able to do this again. And I hope everybody fucking digs it and gets into it, you know? Amazing. Yeah. So is there is there a rough time frame? I already know. So I'm, I, I've always been the one to come up with the marketing plan. Mm -hmm. And I do all the stage production for System and all this stuff. So I'm using all that. I thought, it's you know. It's a utility guy. We live in an ADD generation, bro. If I drop an album right now with a new band, 12 songs, no, they're going to hear it once, listen to a couple of songs a couple of times, and then forget it because the new album's coming out. There's another new artist coming out. Mm -hmm. So I decided I'm going to, we've written like 15, 16 tracks, and we'll keep writing. I wrote one last night that's mm -hmm. like, I tripped Fire. myself out. I was like, fuck, I can't wait for people to hear this. Fire. So I thought I should drop it within like the next, I, once we start, which will be April 22nd, it'll be our first drop. North Kingsley drops April 22nd on my birthday. We're going to do... I'm going to do three songs, drop three songs with three videos. Fire. And I'm making it, because I've directed a lot of system videos, so I'm like, I'm going to direct a video for every song. Um, I'm doing it all by myself. I have no distribution. I have no label. I, I just believe in myself, and I'm kind of like betting on myself mm -hmm. and my guys. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just start being relevant. Every month, I'm going to drop a track, followed by a video. Mm -hmm. So I'm splitting my 15-song record I'm splitting it within a year. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna share it to the world. Well, that model that model works within a year. There's a yeah. lot of a lot of people just in the current uh, doing that in the current sphere doing that yeah. and doing it well. And it, I think it works. And that's you know yeah. I think system could do that if we could like get along. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be See, awesome if we did that. I could tell you still want to rock.